Hello everyone. Welcome to the first PUC economics class. In this session, in continuation with the previous chapter of employment, let us learn about the topic of rural and urban unemployment. The rural and urban unemployment are very important and serious matters of these days unemployment situation. In your previous session, you learnt about the casualization and informalization of employment sector. Today, let us discuss about rural and urban unemployment. So, what is meant by rural unemployment? Rural unemployment is the situation of lack of employment opportunities in the rural areas. Here the rural persons, the people who are living in the rural areas of our country are not finding proper employment opportunities which are sufficient to help them to earn their livelihood. There are two types of unemployment. The first one is disguised unemployment and the second one is seasonal unemployment. Disguised that is which cannot be seen but it is existing. So that we can call it as disguised. If you see that there is no employment opportunity, you can see that there are opportunities. But these unemployment opportunities are not seen. They are behind the screen we can say. But if you go really to the rural areas in search of job, you will find no opportunity. So this is the situation of disguised unemployment. So our rural areas are very well enriched with natural resources but the employment opportunities are not generated in such a way according to the availability of the resources. Here the disguised unemployment is explained as the number of workers engaged is greater than actually required. See for example if a person has his own piece of land of 2 or 4 acres and there he keeps some 8 members involved in any farming activity but some other people come in search of job and they seek a job in that land and even they are also involved in the job wherein the number of workers engaged is requirement is only 6 but 10 members are working in the farm that is 4 extra members are already working which is greater than actually required that is requirement is only for 6 laborers wherein 10 laborers are working and here you can witness the disguised unemployment situation. So the causes for this disguised unemployment situation is that joint family system here in a joint family system where it owns a piece of land of some 10 acres and earlier only two people were there and they had four children and after their marriage again they are having individually their own children and all these people are employed in their own land only because they have their own land they don't want to go and work in any other people's land. So here the number of workers who are involved in the farming activities of their own land is more which is more than the requirement. So here we can see the disguised unemployment situation. So what happens? The work will get over soon or there will be no work at all for all the 12 months of a year. The next one is small land holdings. As I said there today in the villages also you can see nuclear family systems where each member of the family wants to separate <coughs> himself with his own piece of land and therefore these small land holdings are not offering them greater job opportunities because there are not much avenues in a small piece of land holding to earn. So therefore the third one is lack of job opportunities outside agriculture. 
this is a very important factor of disguised unemployment because 70 percent of the population of our country is residing in the rural areas but if you see about the infrastructural facilities that are available maybe it is social infrastructure or economical infrastructure it is very less because only 20 percent of the rural areas are supported by good hospitals or the employment opportunities can be generated out of the infrastructure that is very meager when compared to the population so there is a great disproportion in the availability of job opportunities in rural areas when compared to the opportunities outside agriculture and then we come to the seasonal unemployment as you all know in our country which is a big agrarian country with more than 75 percent of the people are either directly or indirectly dependent on agricultural activities to earn their livelihood here you can see the seasonal unemployment because the people of our country are highly dependent on monsoon rains monsoon gambles over the lives of Indian farmers and at times they may not get the expected rain they will stay unemployed and during the time of over rains also they stay unemployed so this situation keeps them unemployed and if they are growing a perennial crop involved with some three four months of gestation in that period these three four months of period they'll keep themselves unemployed or if they are having the habit of cultivating one single crop over a period of 12 months then for the rest of the five to seven months in that particular period they will keep themselves unemployed this leads them to decide whether to stay back in the employment of agricultural sector only or to move towards the cities in terms of migration in search of other livelihood options the next one here is the seasonal unemployment says that there are off season unemployments everywhere you go in the country of India wherein such a big country with largest number of population they are unable to fetch jobs to the residents of this country for a full time for if they work in any one single day also some three four hours of work is ready for them and they will earn for those three four hours of work that they work and they will keep themselves unemployed even though that they have the capacity of the working they are not finding opportunities in the rural areas and that is the seasonal unemployment situation therefore there are some other production activities that are undertaken in the rural areas like manufacturing of bricks through brick kilns or the crushing of sugar cane or manufacturing of some of the eco-friendly products using the byproducts of the farm products are all undertaken these days but then also the situation of seasonal unemployment and exact unemployment is still prevailing in the rural areas but when we come to the urban unemployment here the scenario is different the situation is totally different in the case of urban unemployment so let us see about the important two types of urban unemployment the first one is industrial unemployment and the second one is educated unemployment so here you can see the two types of unemployment that is industrial unemployment as well as the <coughs> educated unemployment here the industrial unemployment is because many of the rural people in search of the job migrate to the cities for earning their livelihood and they come to the cities for any jobs which does not require serious qualifications or which does not require even a degree also so they come to the city in search of the employment opportunities and they find that there is no employment because this is due to the technological progress that has taken place in these days which are labor saving technological developments so here most of the machineries that have been introduced in these days in the industrial sectors are not <coughs> 
giving scope to the laborers it is machine technically operated and manual labor is having lesser scope in these days industries and therefore the industrial unemployment is seen more and the production sector in these days is not housing the employment opportunities that was giving prior to this situation earlier there were number of employment opportunities in every industrial sector wherein today all the labor saving technological machineries are supported in the industrial sectors and in their working they are in operation in many of the industries and therefore unemployment situation is still worsening in the case of industries the second pattern is educated unemployment in the educational sector or in the educated category also unemployment is more because of that only today we are seeing lots of educated crimes educated people involved in different types of crimes the crime rates which involve the educated people the number of crime rates which involve the educated people is increasing day by day and the number of uneducated people who do not know the technological development that is taken place in these days gadgets are unable to involve in such crime rates wherein the educated people because they are lacking the employment opportunities today they are involved in crime rates this is because of the expansion of educated institutions lots of educational institutions are emerging today lots of engineering colleges have been set up and lots of other degree providing colleges have been set up and lakhs of people are coming out as degree holders in every year and immediately after coming out of the universities they are not finding employment opportunity because there is a great disproportion between the number of degree holders or number of eligible candidates who are coming out of universities and between the number of opportunities that are being created so therefore again the educational unemployment is seen here then the next one is the crime rates can be increased day by day if we continue to see the unemployment situation in the educational sector because here also people today who are involved in different kinds of activities and people today they are frustrated because for their types of education and qualification they are not finding suitable opportunities in any of the sectors and they don't want to work for that such smaller jobs because everybody prefers to have white collar jobs only and when they are not getting the opportunity they involve and they indulge in some different anti social activities and they are becoming the anti social elements of these days therefore a person should have the dignity of labor and he should be able to work in any of the capacity which is provided and again there are different types of employment other than these rural unemployment and urban unemployment that there is open unemployment people who are ready to work and who are having the educational qualification and capacity also are unable to find opportunities and this is the situation of open unemployment wherein there are another types of unemployment that is structural unemployment the structure of the employment sector has been changed today the technology has been changed and therefore the employment opportunities that are generated in these days are only being curtailed therefore people are not finding opportunities and in the research and development sectors also the structure has been changed and people who are unable to find an opportunity there also stay unemployed and there is one more type of unemployment that is frictional unemployment if a person is out of job from a company and until he finds an opportunity till in any other sector he stays unemployed this is frictional unemployment for that particular period from where he has left from the day he has left the job and to the day he is joining to another job this is called as frictional unemployment another one is there cyclical unemployment that there are lots of cyclical variations in these days economical trends there is price hike that is boom situation or recession situation and during all these situations persons are sent out of the job or taken for the jobs so here again 
there is a scope for the creation of unemployment so all these leads to different types of unemployment pattern in our country and therefore only today even though being india is emerging as the third largest economy with all the inputs with all the necessary inputs required for the economical development still is suffering from unemployment problem as a serious one and is being suffering from poverty situation because the people always who move from this employment situation to unemployment situation in the name of frictional unemployment are not finding permanent jobs and they are not having permanent employment opportunities also on some days of a year on some hours of a day some people are kept unemployed and some people are going to be working for some other agencies so these days the employment sector is having lots of fluctuations and it is very difficult to decide about the fate of the unemployment situation and employed people in our country so with this i conclude this session in our next session let us discuss another topic of this lesson thank you